If we continue to depend on oil without diversification, then we're in trouble. The future shows clearly that oil will be a thing of the past in no distant time. Agro-industrialization is the way to start. That is where MK started, 1776. That's where Nigeria and indeed Africa, and indeed Crossover in particular, is just in 2020. <laughs> We're almost 300 years behind time. So we have to make haste to catch up. And so please, I take this advantage and call on every governor and Mr. President to please do all you can to encourage my colleagues and others to industrialize and create jobs for young people. Our population is scary. Cataclysm is besetting us on our face because young people come out of school and no job with so much energy boiling over that a blast coffee will translate to full anarchy. And I see this coming. I fear for it because how long will you continue to keep young men unemployed without social security, without an alternative platform? The end power is doing its little bit, but the population is huge. You can imagine the University of Calabar alone having over 20,000 applicants for admission as first choice of university. When they fail to get admission because the university has a maximum carrying capacity of less than 3,000 students, the rest will be on the streets. So definitely, definitely, federal government must realize that the states are carrying just too much. And I use this opportunity to ask that the president should do a careful and analytical evaluation of the performance efficiency of every of the governors and see those who have shown sincere commitment to the people and have shown love and compassion. And please stretch out the stabilization fund to support such states so that they can actually get themselves out of the woods and create an opportunity where at least one of the states will front leap from third world to first world within eight years. You look at the production of the rice seedlings over there, which we've just been to, you look at the factory where they produce garments, garment factory with over 3,000 people working there. You look at what is happening here, this noodle factory. You look at the solar panels and how they're the latest technology. You don't need that many panels. What you need is the, you know, the conservation of energy. And you see, and this whole estate, industrial estate, was literally a jungle before. And they've carved this out with smooth roads, wonderful atmosphere. And, you know, it's, it's extraordinary. And these are state-of-the-art equipment. You look at what's going on, you look at what is happening here. Look at the quality of machines at every point and technology. And what strikes me uh, the most is the detail which um, the governor appears to have in his head about every single one of these projects. You know, whether it's, you know, everywhere we've been today, he knows everything about every single aspect of the technology, the production, the objectives, and so on and so forth. Um, and all these things, in fact, I'm right in saying all of them, whether here, the rice, or the garment factory, this is the first in Nigeria. They, they don't have them in any other state in Nigeria. Okay. And these things are being funded by the state. Outside of that, he's also doing the deep sea port. He's also doing the, 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 you know, the, the highway, the super highway with six lanes. No other state has these things. And he's constructing them now on minimal resources. So again, it just is a testimony to the fact that, you know, he's managed to achieve so much with so little. And no wonder President Buhari keeps coming back here to come and commission these projects. And he keeps telling people, other governors, that look, if you want to see what the meaning of development is, go to Cross River State. So I'm glad and I'm happy to say that you have a great governor in this governor. You have a great governor in him. I've seen the development and um, I'm truly amazed and I'm comforted that we still have people like this uh, in Nigeria.